Well, hello, TRM partners. Pastor Philip here with Mama Alberta, and we're here with another weekly word just for you. We're so thankful uh, that we have the ability to communicate like we do uh, through uh, video, camera, TV, uh, iPhone, laptop, however you're watching this. Hallelujah. And it's just, it's, it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. You know, the old timers had to write letters. You know, uh, the Bible's full of them. <laughs> and full of and uh, yeah. you know, some of them still do. But uh, I tried that. That that wasn't me. But a weekly word. That that's uh, that's my alley, right yeah, there. Yeah, most most uh, all our who we're partners with, they send letters mm -hmm. every mm -hmm. month. Mm -hmm. So, anyways. Uh, we're thankful and, and uh, we're praying for you uh, every day for your success and destiny to be fulfilled in your life. And uh, this this week, uh, the Lord very clearly uh, this morning said, I want you to talk about assurance. Assurance. That's, that's heavy duty. <laughs> yeah. Uh, read, read Hebrews 10, 22 there. Okay. It says, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. So assurance comes from faith. Uh, and full when it says okay. full assurance, that means you could be half full. Of assurance, you know, and that, see, you, you, you start all. getting over into territory yeah. that yeah. Uh, you don't want to be in. You know, it says that uh, Father Abraham, being fully persuaded fully. that what God had promised, he was able also to perform. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it says our ability to draw near to God has a lot to do with uh, our heart being true in full assurance of faith. Faith is a whole lot in that one faith, verse. It is. Faith is, uh, it not only will bring manifestation uh, into our lives, like uh, you need a healing or uh, uh, a house, a vehicle, uh, a job, spouse, whatever it may be. But it brings full assurance. Mm -hmm. Full assurance uh, gives a peace of mind. In other words, it don't make no difference uh, what your eyes and ears are telling you in the natural. You have full assurance by faith. Mm -hmm. And that lets you draw near to God. That lets you keep your relationship with God. So many times in a faith fight, people feel separated from God because, yeah. because of the intensity yeah. of the fiery darts and, Start looking at and the doubt and unbelief that's being situation. thrown away. Yeah. yeah. And the impossibility and where's the money gonna come from and how how would that door ever open up and you know, on and on and on. But faith allows us to have full assurance. Now I want to read something else over here in Hebrews 6. It says uh, in verse 10, For God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. Hallelujah. I love that verse. Which you've showed towards his name and that you've ministered to the saints and do minister. So every time you sow a seed, every time you're praying one for another, every time you're exhorting somebody, or every time you're uh, uh, ministering whatever mm -hmm. uh, giving somebody a ride uh, yeah. whatever it may be God doesn't forget any of that and it goes on to say and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance mm -hmm. of hope all the way mm -hmm. unto the end so again here we see <coughs> full assurance now uh, if you'll go to Colossians chapter 2, Alberta, and verse 2, I want to bring in another scripture here. Because it says, 
while, while Mama Alberta's turning there, it says in Deuteronomy 28, verse 66, <laughs> it says, Your life shall hang in doubt before thee, and you shall fear day and night, and shall have none assurance none, none. of your life. Now, that's, a, that's the curse. If you, if you refuse to uh, live uh, in obedience to God and His Word, uh, your life will hang in doubt. And see, that when, 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 when doubt can get an entrance uh, into mm. your soul, into your mind, and get you uh, wandering and reasoning yeah. oh, God. Uh, about uh, what God has said or what the preacher man said or whatever, uh, it, it, it lures fear in. Mm. And it says you'll fear day and night, mm. right? And she'll have none assurance of your life. That's that's where these people come up with this. Well, you never know what God's going to oh, do. Oh God! Well, when 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 God's going to call my number, uh, you know, and they live uh, with none assurance. We know God wants us to have long life. I've heard people say, "You're not going to get me on no airplane because you know you never know when that pilot's number is going to be called." Yeah, it don't matter. First of all, it's not going to be called. But it don't matter when I'm on that airplane. Yeah. My number's not going to be called. Right, right. I know that. But, you know. That's non-assurance of their I, life. Yeah, I, just this morning I was getting ready, and I was thinking, I, I don't know, I heard something, and, and I just stopped. I was in the bathroom, and I just stopped, and I, I said, Lord, I am so thankful mm -hmm. that I know you. Mm, yeah, really. I mean, I am so thankful Mm -hmm. That you really, really know him. I really know him. Yeah. Because it was something about people being in fear. Like, oh, my God. That, that's Well, it, it, you know, Jesus redeemed us from that curse mm -hmm. to, to where we can have full assurance. And uh, we're, we're not living. Faith is not this iffy life. It's not this, well, God demands that we believe him and... Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. No, he does it every time. All the time. Yeah, All right? The time. So, so read Colossians uh, 2, uh, verses 1 and 2. 1 and 2. Yeah. For I would that you knew what great conflict I have for you and for them at Laodicea. And as for as many as have not seen my face in the flesh, that their hearts might be comforted being knit together in love and unto all riches of the full assurance of understanding. Wow, that's pretty heavy, dude. Mm -hmm. Of the full, unto all riches of the full assurance of understanding and to acknowledge, to the acknowledgement, sorry, of the ministry of God. A mystery. I mean, a mystery. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. To the acknowledgement of the mystery of God and of the Father and of Christ. You want me to read that again? Probably help. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just read verse 2. That their hearts might be comforted, be knit together in love, and unto all riches of the full assurance of understanding. Stop right there. That, that's powerful right the there. The riches. Yeah, the riches That's what I just of got the that today. full assurance of understanding. Full assurance of understanding. Now, Romans ten seventeen. So then, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Now, you've heard me teach this uh, many times uh, that it says, "Now faith cometh by hearing." That if you study out hearing, it's actually understanding. Right. Faith cometh because. Uh, Unto Just us was the gospel that. preached as well as unto them, but the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed, mixed with, with faith, faith in them that heard it. Right. So they so heard, heard they then, heard the word, they didn't but mix they, didn't, faith they didn't mix mix faith in what they heard, because there's some things that you hear that you don't understand immediately. But when you take what you hear and you pray, God open up the eyes of my understanding. Well, when you do that, it says right there in verse 2, 
unto all riches That's so of the full assurance of understanding. So uh, the full assurance of faith, the full assurance of hope, the full assurance of understanding. So uh, when, uh, you know, you have hope, uh, Bible hope, when it comes to you, it gives you an assurance that I ain't dying with this. Don't make no difference what kind of symptoms are in my body. I'm not dying with this. I know I right. got I got I got hope from the scriptures, but now I got to get over into faith, faith with that. That's right. And the way I get over into faith with that is to understand uh, the price that was paid mm -hmm. and meditate that to where it's not just head knowledge; it's now down in my heart and uh, coming out of my mouth, how the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So partners, listen up. Uh, the enemy's always Excuse trying me. to uh, get us to be unsure, mm -hmm. assurance. Yeah. That's why you've heard me teach uh, that As surely, sure. surely yeah. is a covenant I'm word. When, when uh, Father God says, Surely, blessing, I will bless you, and multiplying, I'll multiply you. When, when he says surely, we're talking covenant. Mm -hmm. And so assurance is a covenant uh, word, word Absolutely. of peace of mind and a knowing that what uh, God has promised, there will be a performance of that. There will be a manifestation of that. Now, I want to read another scripture over here in Isaiah 32. And it says in verse 17, And the work of righteousness shall be peace, and the effect of righteousness, Quiet. quietness, and assurance. and assurance. Forever. Now this is forever assurance. Forever. This is forever wow. assurance. That's what I Don't make no difference. Don't make no difference what inflation is it doesn't make no difference what these uh, goofy uh, politicians are trying to formulate. It makes no difference what no. the so-called elite are trying to govern the world with. None of that matters. What matters is what God's word says. And so the work of righteousness, our new creation reality, the work of righteousness shall be peace and the effect of righteousness quietness, and assurance forever. Mm. Now, uh, I remember when we first got saved, Alberta, uh, we didn't have assurance. Not like we do now. Uh, you know, if one thing that we were sure of was that we were born again. Yeah, we knew. And we God knew. had put our marriage together. I mean, we were, that, that, that never had to we battle changed. any doubt. or yeah, yeah, we were so... But when it came to finances, when it came to uh, manifesting these uh, promises of God, uh, we, ha we had to uh, grow in it, and we're still growing in it. And, uh, you know, this morning in my time with the Lord, uh, I'll tell you about it later on this evening, but uh, God was fortifying what we already know to be true. Exactly. You know, yeah. it, uh, a lot of times uh, what happens when you're believing God for something and you're in the midst of uh, the bringing it into manifestation. You can say the process. You don't want to say the battle. Cause... The, the enemy tries to rattle mm -hmm. uh, your assurance. Exactly. And, and we, we're to have full assurance of faith, forever assurance. I know, I know that my Redeemer liveth, <laughs> right? I know, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. You're not going to tell me how, how many times uh, through the years uh, when we saw no manifestation of phase two, but you, you couldn't, nobody could tell me that uh, God didn't tell me, let me do what I want. Philip, you're going to build up. I Full assurance. Mm -hmm. yeah. Full assurance. Well, that word right there, mm -hmm. when you walk in your righteousness, when you walk in your new creation reality, God doesn't want us uh, having our minds 
to be uh, slapped around by uh, vain imaginations, mm -hmm. by uh, the enemy uh, toying with us, uh, saying, uh, you know, well, where's it at? <laughs> Look how long it's been, and just trying to rattle your cage. No, full assurance. Mm -hmm. Full assurance. When I woke up this morning, I didn't have to look at the marriage license. <laughs> I didn't have to do that. I'm, I have full assurance that you're my wife. Full assurance. You probably don't even know where the marriage license is. <laughs> <laughs> do you? <laughs> no. Are we married? <laughs> Very Definitely. Much so. Definitely. But, the, but, but you understand the, the example I'm bringing out. That, that's how convinced, I, I, didn't, I didn't have to wake up and look in the mirror to see if I was a, a female or a male to see who it's I... It's sad, sad how some people do. Yeah. But, but, <laughs> Even but when they I, see... I'm bringing out ridiculous analogies to understand we're supposed to be full, we have are, full assurance right. when it comes to healing. We are. See, we're supposed to have full assurance when it comes to prosperity. We're supposed to have full assurance when it comes to our children all serving the Lord. You know, honey, when when people, you know, think we're we're talking crazy, you know, about healing and finance and prosperity, it just shows that they they don't know the word. It just shows that they don't. Well, that's they why don't God study raises up word. people like us exactly, to teach, exactly. teach the word. I mean, people are stunned when you, I mean it's it's right there in black and white and red. You know, it's well, right there. Going back to what I said earlier, uh, I know when we faith. first got born again, uh, you know, we heard it all the time. You never know what God's going to do. Oh, my. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. And uh, Depends on what he's doing. That's not yeah. what his word says. That's right. I know what God's going to do. He said all his promises are yes I don't know so what be. people are going to do. Oh, tell me. Shoo. That's, that's the We don't biggie. know how God's going to do That's the biggie that. right that's there. That's the real biggie. But uh, partners, listen up. Jesus name. God wants us in full assurance for uh, in our lives. We we shouldn't be uh, tormented. We shouldn't be uh, being slapped around by the lies of the enemy. Uh, you know, we get in the Word. We get uh, you know again over there in Deuteronomy twenty eight sixty six. That's the curse having non-assurance of a life. Well, I don't know what, I don't know what we're going to do. I, that's non-assurance of your life. If you don't you know do. what you're supposed to do at the moment, then you go to God asking for wisdom. Then you get in the book and you start searching the scriptures and you get quiet in front of God. You might have to fast a little bit and, 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 and turn the TV off and turn some preaching on or, or, or whatever the situation may be. God's going to get assurance to you. Mm -hmm. And so that's the word that uh, we have for you <coughs> this week, partners. Name, and me. and uh, I'm just, I, you know, just shake off anything that is trying to rattle uh, your assurance and, and uh, understand that God's plan for our lives is not this, uh, well, maybe. No, it ain't no maybe. It's a sure, sure ending surely there is an end and your expectation shall not be shall not off. be cut off there's that word surely again you know it, it would do you good just to do a word study on surely surely where, where god talks where, where it's god talking. wow that's and it, it's, all it's, over it's the powerful Bible. yeah it is it is what did you say i i when you first started uh talking about this the one thing that comes to me, it's in Romans 4, is um, Abraham. How it says, who against hope believed in hope. But he says, he staggered not through unbelief. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I, I like to say it this way. You know, it was so outrageous what God promised him. Mm -hmm. It was so completely, you know... Almost like Mary, but unheard that, of. Unheard of, exactly. You know, after years and years and years of of Sarah never being able to mm -hmm. get pregnant, now they're both old and beyond. Mm -hmm. Both of them. See, God had to get both of them to be beyond 
even desiring or even not even thinking about it and not able, okay, to, and, and you know, after all these years, it said he staggered not. God promised that. That was not my thought. How many times we come up and we say, we didn't think this. Yeah, up. yeah. You know, this was not our plan. Well, you know, you know what, you know what got Abraham over, besides just his faith. If you read that chapter, which I did this morning, Romans uh, four. Yeah, That's where it, it, just was. It, it talks about that his righteousness was was imputed unto him, unto him. and uh, well, let's go there now. I'm there. It says there. Uh, in Romans 4 something powerful at the end of that chapter where it says in verse 22 well verse 21 and being fully persuaded yeah, that's where I was. that what he had promised he was able also to perform and therefore because of that it was imputed now that word imputed means uh, to be credited yes. with, yeah. to be uh, endowed with, yeah. right? It was imputed to him for righteousness, for right standing. And Jesus hadn't been to the cross. Jesus hadn't become sin. But Abraham uh, got over into such a dimension of faith that God credited it to Abraham with his faith that he was in right standing. No blood of Jesus, that, no blood of Jesus. So now watch this. Now, now watch 23. Now it was not written for his sake alone right. that it was credited to him, for but us. for us. us also. When you believe God, but for the for impossible. Us all, yeah, yeah. When and, you, and that's what you, there, there shouldn't be a person alive that is born again filled with the holy ghost that's believing for something that he can do himself believe right. in god for something you can do right. yourself the only the, that's, only, the that's, only requirement that is required that we can do for ourselves is putting corresponding action to our faith yes because it says where where it says go yeah. test drive the car yeah go look for the house right go try on that coat because it says it says here uh being fully, in verse 21, Romans 4, and being fully persuaded that what he, God, had promised, he, now you could say that both ways, he, God, was able to perform. God's going to do the miracle in your life, but you have to, you have to. You have to work with him. You have to have full assurance. Mm -hmm. You have to be fully persuaded. It's good. Yeah. Partners, we love you. We're thankful for you. And, uh, we just trust that this word is, an, is a word of encouragement to you. Don't let the enemy try to put in, uh, doubt in your That's in your noggin. You know, just just uh, stay with the word. The word is forever settled in the heaven, forever, forever settle it in your heart. We want to pray for you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we pray for all of our TRM partners. Yes. We're thankful for them, and we thank you, Lord God that they're healthy, they walk in safety, yes. they walk in strength. Yes. And we thank you, Lord God, they're increasing hundredfold favor mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. You're multiplying them. We thank you for divine arrangements. We thank you for turnarounds in their lives. That's right. And Lord, we're just, uh, they're partakers of our grace. And we thank you, Lord God, they, they connect and they operate and they walk in that dimension of life that, uh, you have so provided through Jesus Christ. So we bless them, spirit, soul, body, financially, socially, in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. So be it. Amen. Amen, amen. Well, uh, partners, we love you. Keep your eyes on Jesus. And remember, Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 4 says, where the word of a king is, there, there is power. power. Be a blessing.